Hello everybody, this is Danilo Cuellar from PeacefulAnarchism.com and the Native World Project. And so today I want to talk about a proverb, a Red Warrior Sacred Path proverb that says, Hear one side and be in the dark hear all sides and be enlightened and what this brings to mind for me is a recent conversation I was having with a friend who accused me of being rigid in my thinking stubborn one-sided not willing to consider other perspectives. And I started reflecting on this idea. Am I stubborn? Am I rigid? What does it mean to be open-minded? That is everyone's goal. And there's also a quote, I believe attributed to Mark Twain, which says, be open-minded but not so much so that your brain will fall out. So, one thing that I love about voluntarists and anarchists that I've seen, and people who advocate for free market capitalism, is most of them did not grow up in such a household. Most of them grew up had statist origins, Democrat, Republican, Green Party. Um, and so in order to arrive at the conclusions that they arrived at, they had to put in considerable amount of research, thought, investigation, and reflection. And this is very admirable. To admit that the beliefs that one has heretofore taken for granted may not be valid. For most people can be a scary proposition. This is, after all, the appeal to antiquity. If we believe something because we have always believed it or because our parents have believed it and their parents have believed it, this is not a logical argument. This is not an argument based in reason and evidence. We must put on the altar of logic as many of our previously held beliefs as possible. Now I understand we can't put all of our, <laughs> we can't reinvent everything, um, but some things we ought to. And the idea of statism, that some people have the moral exemption and are able to rule violently over other people, is one belief that we ought to reconsider. And voluntarists and anarchists have done that. They have done the research, they have put in the investigation and the reflection. And they have, many of them, have come to the conclusion that their beliefs did not were not arrived at through reason therefore they cannot be necessarily explained by reason right they're arrived at by conditioning by programming by government school indoctrination and with the simple application of logic those myths can be eradicated and dispelled. And so you see, it is the voluntarists, it is the anarchists, it is those people that are willing to challenge the beliefs that have been passed down to them by their forefathers. It is those people that are the most open minded. Why? They do not cling to these beliefs based on emotion or feelings, they cling to them based on principles and logic.
a firm understanding of reason. This is what it means to be open-minded. You must stand for something. In the words of Malcolm X, if you do not stand for something, you will fall for anything. And so, it is not true to say that all philosophies are valid. It is almost, <laughs> to me, morality is objective in the sense that mathematics is objective, chemistry is objective, physics, thermodynamics are objective. They don't matter how you feel. They don't matter the color of your skin, your religion, where you were born. They don't matter. Those details are insignificant and irrelevant. Two plus two does not equal four, but it's different for Jimmy. No, <laughs> it's universal. And so is morality. And when we understand that, we can use those principles as guidelines to determining which philosophies are valid and which must be scrapped to the ash heap of history, the dustbin of failed ideologies. It's not simply a matter of preferences, <laughs> like I like chocolate and you like vanilla. No, <laughs> morality is not a matter of preference. Morality is a matter of universality. So we can consider other philosophies, but that is not enough. What principles do you use? What tools do you use to determine its validity, its truth? Because there is truth. There is universal truth. That's what concerns me. Hitler had a philosophy. Stalin had a philosophy. Mao Zedong had a philosophy. And millions of people died. Not all philosophies are valid. Take care what you consider to be valid. And make sure your conclusion as to their validity is not based in reason, oh, sorry, is not based in feelings or emotions. This would be the ultimate error. When it comes to the freedom of your neighbor, that is not conditional. When it comes to the liberty of your brothers and sisters all over the world. That is universal. It does not matter where you live, what religion you practice, how wealthy you are. There are discoverable principles that we can learn that help to guide us and help, help us understand reality. And this, to me, is what economics is about, Austrian economics specifically, and free market capitalism. It's understanding reality, that we all live in a world of scarce resources and infinite desires. And as a result, that is not conditional upon our feelings or our whims. So take care what you believe. Thank you for listening. This is Danilo from PeacefulAnarchism.com and the Native World Project. Wishing all of you have a magnificent day.